morning and welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. Glad to have you with us. Immigration, deportations, and the temporary protected status, TPS, continue to be some of the hottest topics of debate at a national level. And this is also the case here at a local level where different marches and activities have been taking place lately in support of the TPS campaign. Now, because there's a lot of confusion out there regarding TPS, we've decided to do this segment to shed some light on this important topic to help us do that with us this morning is Patricia Montes executive director of the nonprofit organization Centro Presente good morning Patricia good morning, Yadiris. thank you, thank for you so me. much for being here Thank you for having me. So you're going to help us dissect everything that's going on. There's a lot of confusion out there, Patricia, regarding TPS. Start with telling us about TPS. What is TPS? Thank you, Yadir. It's definitely uh, what the temporary protected status TPS is, is a form of immigration status that provides uh, people that are protected under that program a work permit to work in the United States in a legal way, but also protect people from deportations. And according to official data, there are more than 300,000 people from El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Haiti yes. that are now protected under the temporary protected status TPS. And we are afraid that they are going to um, you know, uh, basically um, don't remove the renew the TPS for all these people that are so now the protected. fear is that the TPS would not be renewed. That's the fear that we have because we know that all the measures that the government is implementing right now are basically against and the what happens though, community. Patricia? Let's just say if it does, I mean, if it's not renewed, what happens? 300,000 people are going to have to be deported. Is, is we actually uh, have, you know, a lot of information on how ending TPS is going to impact in a very negative way local economies and the economy as a whole in the United States. Yet it is according to a recent study, the U.S. economy is going to lose more than $6.9 billion, $6 billion in contributions dollars. to um, uh, Social Security and Medicare from these people that have been living in the U.S. Okay. for the past 20 years. They, they pay taxes and they contribute in multiple ways to the you know, well-being of the U.S. So think about it. If they detain and deport 300,000 people that are now protected under TPS, yes. it's going to cost more than... 3.1 billion U.S. dollars wow. to the U.S. economy. Wow. So, okay. So talk to us about these marches that you've been having and talk to us about this campaign. So this is like a brand new campaign that you guys started to do about this to bring more awareness about what is TPS and why they should renew it. We have this campaign because we want to educate our policymakers about the negative impact that is going to have in our local economies, in our, at the state level, if the federal government don't renew TPS for all these immigrants that have been living in the U.S. for the past 20 years. They pay taxes. They have been sending their kids to school. Some of them are uh, homeowners. They, they have been buying property in the United States. And most of that, they contribute, they pay taxes. And I think it's important for us to educate policymakers, the media, and the, and the community in general about the positive contributions that all these people that are protect, protected under TPS have been given to the U.S. society. What do you want to do with these marches? And are you hoping to continue creating these marches where more and more people come to join you guys? Definitely. I mean, we're trying to organize and inform the, com inform the community because we need to fight. And uh, the, the clear demand that we have is that the U.S. government had to renew TPS for all these people that have been living in the U.S. for the past 20 years. And hopefully we would like to see uh, that these people had the chance to become, uh, you know, U.S. citizens because they have all the right to receive that uh, benefit. If they can show, obviously, that they've been, you know, they have kids and that they have good jobs and that they've been sort of giving back, right? Definitely. To, For to more community. than 20 years, I think that we have clear information on how they have been contributing to the well-being and progress of the United States. Okay. So, really quickly, you passed two, uh, two resolutions have been passed, and that's because of, you know, part of it because of your work that Centro Presente does. Talk to us about we that. We were able to pass two uh, municipal resolutions in the city of Cambridge and the city of Somerville in support of TPS. We know that this is a decision that the government at the national level, at the federal level, is going to make. However, it is important for us to educate policymakers at the local level because 
it is important to send a very strong message to Washington and say that these people are also part of, of our communities. They are living in our cities and they are paying taxes again. People say that undocumented people don't pay taxes. We do pay taxes, we contribute, we go to school, and we are part of this society. I want to thank you so much for coming by, telling us about TPS, clarifying a lot of things for us, a lot of confusion out there. Thank you so much for coming by, Patricia. Thank you for having me. Okay. For more information about the TPS campaign, you can call Centro Presente at 857-256-2981 to get a direct link to their website and their Facebook page. You can visit us online at cbsboston.com slash Centro and like every week, we want to remind you that you can get more information on today's show and our past shows. You can watch both the English and the Spanish versions of our show on our website. If you have time, visit us right now. If not, come back later for more of Centro. We also want to invite you to connect with us online, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Yadira Snova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better you. See you next time.